All right, guys, the next thing that we need to uh, make sure we have filled out is the bill of sale. So the bill of sale is going to be found under the funnels section. So go here to funnels. Uh, on the other one, it could be under, uh, I believe it's still funnels. It's under sites, I'm sorry. So it'll be under sites and you'll find it there. So we'll go back to the other one here real quick. So you'll find it under, under funnels, you'll click funnels. And then you're, you won't have all of this. Um, it'll just say bill of sale and then repeat customer bill of sale. So, um, and your bill of sale is going to look, um, well, it's actually not this one. It's, um, oh, actually this is a good example. Okay, so on your bill of sale and on your repeat customer bill of sale. So you'll need both. What you'll need to do is go in here, press edit, and then it'll open up this whole thing here. You'll want to replace your the company name with your company name on all of these areas. And then you'll see uh, here as well, um, it's just very basic bill of sale. So uh, you'll have a little bit more um, on this like driver's license info and stuff like that. So um, you can also edit this as well. So if you want to edit the, the phone number and, and all of that, what you can actually do is you can go here to marketing uh, on the other one, it's under, it's going to be under, um, uh, like websites. So, but under this one, it's under form builder. Okay. So if we go here to bill of sale, we can edit it. Right. So, um, yeah, let's leave that one. So let's see bill of sale copy. Yeah. So here's a, here's another form of the bill of sale and you can just go in here and edit this. See, you can go over here, edit, uh, change what you need to change. You can also make custom designs for this as well. So if you wanna create a, what's called a custom field, you can add a custom field. It can be text, large text, numerical, phone number, monetary, checkbox, single option, multiple options. You can even do file uploads, right? So on the, on the, uh, the highest level of resale deck, uh, I can show you guys mine. On the highest level of resale deck, mine is, uh, it actually takes a photo of the driver's license and a photo of the device. You guys can make this happen too. Um, so yeah, there is, there's that. That's how you deal with the bill of sale. And once a customer fills out the bill of sale, what is gonna happen after that is it's gonna put people into what's called a follow-up sequence. So for the follow-up sequence, that's gonna be under workflows. Under the other one, it's going to be under automation. So if you have this dashboard, it'll be under automation here, which is workflows, okay? So as you can see, there's a follow-up after the sale right here. This is uh, not the right one, but let me go to a different one here. Here we go, let's do this one. All right, so follow-up after the sale. And then it'll have a 12 month follow-up sequence here. It'll follow up for 12 months, okay? And uh, I'll be talking about this one in the next video.